हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू योर ओन चैनल ऑन डेटा साइंस मशीन लर्निंग एंड आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस वी आर लर्निंग अपाचे एयरफ्लो हाउ टू बिल्ड डेटा पाइपलाइंस यूजिंग अपाचे एयरफ्लो इन अवर लास्ट वीडियो वी लर्न हाउ टू मेक द कोड मॉड्यूलर वी सॉ that we can make the code modular by importing the python files where we write the business logic or by using execute open read combination such that the entire functionality is available where these two lines of execute open read are written so whatever code is written in this file will be made available and will get executed in this modular dag1.py because what we are doing is we are opening the file reading it executing it so it is as good as writing the code here itself the problem that we left we did not handle in the last session was how do we pass the data frame object from extract function to transform part of the business logic let me open that file this is the file this piece of code if i uncomment and here i'll comment this because here we are returning a simple string variable value simple string objects are json serializable as such we can pass them using task instance from one task to another however a data frame kind of object cannot be serialized as a json and we saw it requires pickle to serialize however if you pickle and serialize we will store the object in a hard drive and then load the object that is deserialize it which is again a unwanted overhead so how do we handle this problem i'll show how do we handle this the same etl biz logic which we had written i have now rewritten it so let me close this you can use the same file this time around i have written one more function etl which is a wrapper function in this etl function i am going to call the extract function the transform function and the load function so let us run this before running the code let me just remove unwanted lines of code this i will have to comment and i'll uncomment this so here i am going to create a data frame as if i am extracting data from some source and that extraction process creates a data frame so i am just hypothetically creating a data frame so the return of this extract function will be a data frame i will call this extract function in this wrapper etl function and the data frame df object will be stored as a return object then i will invoke the transform function within this etl and pass the returned object of extract function to it the another change which we need to make earlier in our dag we called 
E separately in one Python operator T part of the transform part of the code as another Python operator and load part of the code as another Python operator instead of calling it as three different Python operator I suggest put all of them in one ETL function so the way the code will get changed I have only one ETL Python operator call in that I am going to call the ETL function where we have defined this ETL function as a wrapper function in which extract part of the logic transform part of the logic and load part of the logic all of them is called by doing this we eliminate the need of passing the return object of extract function as a task instance push pull XCOM so we don't need XCOM now we have eliminated the requirement of XCOM as far as we are calling set of functions one by one after another and just putting all of them in one wrapper function benefit of this is code remains modular secondly we don't need XCOM and specifically I'm not saying that we there are all scenarios where we can eliminate the usage of XCOM however in this specific case where we need to pass a data frame we need to be slightly intelligent on how we write our code such that we create the data pipeline at the same time we don't complicate our code while keeping it modular in structure so let me show the DAG now so this is the modular DAG 3 the code remains same very much same so far this code is very much same as our earlier code only changes instead of calling the Python operator separately for E T L as three different tasks I have put them together as one task ETL and this will call the Python callable ETL whatever parameters that need to be passed has been passed here in this case we are not doing any XCOM push so I can make it false by default anyways it is true so it does not really impact me and here we need to change it to ETL and not the earlier code which was E separate T separate L separate what will be the structure of DAG let's go and see so let's see this is the ETL DAG which we just created the name let me close this file this is the modular DAG 3 this is the name that we gave to the DAG the file name is example modular DAG 3.py the DAG name is exetl DAG and I have already mentioned the name which is given here will be reflected on your DAG Airflow screen user interface so this is the DAG that we created let's see the graph view of it start extract transform load the task ID has been given as extract transform load so the task ID is reflected here as extract transform load and I can simply now execute this the code has been executed successfully there are some print statements let's see what all print statements are there 
here the print the value of e return object is and in the load the type of e return object is so let's just go and see the log of this task here you can see the data frame getting printed so we have been able to intelligently solve the problem of keeping the code modular at the same time be able to pass our data frame from extract business part of the logic to transform to the load i hope you would have been able to understand this and how do we handle the ETL part of the code. With this, we have now learned how to make our code modular. What is the next challenge? The next challenge is here I created the data frame myself in the code, but in real practical sense, our data will come from some data source. It may be a data base or it may be some website, some web scrapping. Assuming we have to get data from some database. In that case, we need to open a connection to database. In Airflow, this is supported by a concept called hooks. We will see how to create hooks in our upcoming session. Till then, thank you. Bye bye. Anytime you want to type any piece of code, you may just pause the video and type the code. Thanks. See you in our upcoming video. Bye bye.